Uh, today's dynamic movement practice uh, is a combination of some very familiar yoga practices and yoga poses uh, and some more athletic style drills. So we're going to see some repetition within this series, um, but also some, some held positions, some held postures. So we will be mixing and matching and having a grand old time energizing ourselves and uplifting ourselves. Um, our whole idea with this particular practice is to get a little perkier. So we're gonna, we're gonna perk ourselves up with those practices today. Let's start by taking a comfortable seat. We will be seated for minutes uh, because we're gonna begin with breath today. We're doing a pranayama practice to start us out. So I am sitting up on a blanket. You might like that. Blankets, towels, cushions, whatever you have at home, just to help elevate your seat. And what we'd like is that the, the hips where you can locate the bones of your pelvis are higher than your knees where you can locate the bones of your kneecaps. So another way to say that is your knees are lower than your hips. Uh, and your low back should have a little indent so that you can rise tall through your spine and not feel that you're slumped or slouched. And that's how you know you have the right amount of elevation underneath your bum. Okay. So let's take our, take our good seat, take our seat here. As you ground down through your pelvis and through your legs, grow a tall spine, let that rise, the uplift of your spine, rise right through the crown of your head. Close your eyes as you're ready. And take a few moments to come to stillness. Become aware of your breath. We'll be starting with our breathing here today. And we'll use some very structured breath techniques to begin enlivening our energetic state. So if you are stepping onto the mat today and into your practice with rather low energy or low ambition uh, to be here, know that that is Fine. That is 100% welcome in this practice. And the whole point of being here is to progress gradually and let, our, let ourselves build up to a more, um, a more energized, brighter, perkier state of being but there's no requirement that you begin the practice from that place. In fact, if you're already feeling um, really good and uplifted today, this may not be the practice that you need. You're probably here because you're not feeling that way. So take a moment as you sit in stillness and Welcome yourself onto your mat. Welcome yourself to your practice. And very compassionately, very lovingly, with a soft touch and a sweet heart, give yourself reassurance that your low or diminished state of being is absolutely fine as it is. It is welcome in this practice. 
we're going to begin with our inhalations. We're going to begin by building our inhale. So in just a moment, what we'll work with is a six count breath in and a sigh out. And I will talk you through all of that. We'll do that three times and then very similarly, but building the inhale breath. We will do eight counts in and sigh out for three times. And then a 10 count in and a sigh out for three times. So we'll begin here with the six count. Exhale to empty yourself. And now inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one and hold and now open your mouth and sigh again inhale six five four three two one hold sigh one more like this inhale six five four three two one, hold, sigh it out. Now for eight, inhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath in, and exhale, sigh it out. Again. Inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath in, sit tall. Exhale, sigh it out. One more like this. Inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Again, keep your spine tall. Exhale, sigh. Now for 10. Inhale, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Fill up, hold, pause. Exhale, sigh. Inhale, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Sigh and exhale. Last time. Inhale ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold and lift your posture. Exhale, sigh. Now breathing naturally, close your mouth and breathe through your nose and just take a moment here. Okay, blinking your eyes open. Take a moment to shake out your legs. We have another technique. We'll be changing the cross of our legs here. Changing the cross of the legs so the other uh, ankle or the other leg goes in front or on top, depending on how you started. Um, any Again, any configuration of your legs is absolutely fine, but whatever you chose, please now just do the other configuration. Kapalabhati's. So we'll do two versions of Kapalabhati. First version, very standard, just pumping the breath. Please feel very welcome to pump at your own pace. You don't need to keep time with me if it feels um, awkward for your breathing mechanism. You can breathe um, on your own time, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll do three rounds like that for about 45 seconds each round. Then we will complete our breathing practice here today with some alternate nostril Kapalabhati and I'll describe that in more detail when we get there. Uh, but let's just start with our standard Kapalabhati. 
So begin, we'll do three different um, upper body positions, but let's start this way. Take your hands to your belly right around your navel. And what you're going to feel like a trampoline is this bouncing, springing, rebounding, pumping of your abdomen. And, I, and I'd like you to actually uh, tangibly experience that beneath your hands so you can feel your belly bouncing underneath your palms. Okay? We'll start with a half inhale and then we'll pump on the exhales. So this is all through the nose and the exhale is super duper strong and snappy and that's coming from the abdomen as it pumps. Here we go. Exhale, hold the breath out, hands on your knees, tuck your chin, but keep lifting your chest towards your, your chin and hold for five, four, three, two, on one, lift your chin and slowly release the breath. Take a moment to breathe softly and naturally. You can close your eyes. Simply linger with the technique. Okay, eyes open, take your arms up. Go wide like a letter Y. <laughs> and then curl your fingers into your palms and stick out your thumbs. Okay. We're gonna keep the arms in this configuration for another 45 seconds of your Kapalabhati. So half inhale and then pump from the abdomen. Exhale fully, hold your breath out, drop your chin, but keep lifting your chest and now bring your thumb tips together above your head. Hold, 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 hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Release and softly breathe in. And then again, take a moment, close your eyes. And just abide in the echo of that technique. Okay, one more. Take your fingers to interlace. Flip your palms out front of you and then sweep your arms up overhead. Using the arms to help traction lengthen to your spine, continue to sit tall. One more round. Half inhale, begin and pump your breath. Exhale, inhale fully. Hold the breath in at the top, drop your chin towards your chest, lift your arms super high, pause, 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 and hold five. Keep lifting your chest, keep dropping your chin. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release slowly and lift your chin. Arms come down, rest your palms, close your eyes. Pause.
and then flutter your eyes open. We have one final breathing technique. So as we've done with Kapalabhati, pumping the breath on the exhales, we're going to put that into our alternate nostril breath. For this technique, you'll use your right hand in a particular configuration. So if you turn your right palm up and you tuck your first two fingers, which is your index and your middle, into the center of your palm, what you have here is a valve. So you've got the tip of your thumb and the tip of your ring finger. Um, I am not going to mirror you on this one, so I'll use my right hand and you will use your right hand. Okay, so make that mudra now. And then with your opposite hand, you can turn your palm face up on your knee and join your index and middle finger together to make a circle. And, and just let the left arm rest. The left arm does not participate in the alternate, alternate nostril technique. It just rests on your leg. Okay, so check in that your spine is held tall. Your two hands are doing what they're doing. And we're gonna do three pumpings, first through the left nostril, and then three pumpings through the right nostril. And we'll go back and forth, left, right, left, right. Uh, and we'll do a total of 10 on each side, okay? So bringing your right hand, which has the valve of thumb pad and ring finger pad uh, in front of your face, we're going to block the right, we'll do three pumpings left, and then we'll block the left nostril and do three pumpings right, and we'll just repeat that using the thumb and the ring finger, excuse me, yes, the thumb and the ring finger um, on, on the nostril to block one side so that just one side is open for the pumpings. Okay, here we go, starting on the left, three pumpings, and begin. And bring your hand down sit tall release both mudras and just let your fingers be open palms are up close your eyes a moment to sit with it we'll do another round so reset your hands again it's three left then we block the left open the right three on the right block the right open the left three on the left etc okay. so Ready and begin. Bring your hand down, pause, breathe naturally. Take a moment just to sit with it. Even out your breath. Steady inhale, steady exhale. Keep your breath steady, open your eyes, take your legs forward and give them a shake. So that is our pranayama practice. We're gonna move on. So shaking out the legs and then we'll recross the legs and continue to work seated for a few more moments. Let's take the right leg either on top of the left leg uh, or crossed mid calf, mid shin. So the knees are fairly narrow for this particular seat. That's going to target our hips in a different way, in a nice way. <laughs> so we get, we get some benefit of hip opening as we um, sit and work here with our spine. Okay? So take a nice breath in, sit tall through the length of your body. 
And then as you breathe out, twist towards your right. So you'll bring your left hand onto your right knee as you rotate. And just a moment to pause in your first twist here. Keeping the breath steady and even after that pranayama practice. Matching the length of your in-breath to the length of your out-breath every single cycle. Inhale, return to center. Keep your legs the same. Exhale, twist the opposite way. So I'm just twisting in the other direction. Back hand lightly against your blanket or your floor to help support the lift of your chest, the lift of your rib cage, the rising of your spine, and then simply layering a bit of rib rotation onto that length. Inhale, return to center. Keep your legs as they are as you breathe out. Inhale, take your arms out to the side, up overhead, pause. And then as you exhale, twist to your right and let your back hand drop, get empty of breath. Inhale, return center and reach overhead. Good, exhale, twist to your left, get empty. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to your left, get empty. One more time, inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. And exhale, left. Inhale, center, pause. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms inside out and wiggle a little bit more length up through the sides of your body until you feel maximally uh, long up out of your pelvis, right? So you're lifting through the sides of your waist, through your low back, through your low belly, the whole 360 degree container of your torso rises up through the effort of your arms. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to either your two knees, if that's what are there, or you could have your knee and your foot, whatever, whatever you can easily contact with your hands. And then we're gonna to start to circle our spine. So just nice, simple spinal rotation. Finding a pace that really suits your body today. Again, we're looking to wake ourselves up uh, gradually, progressively. We don't have to do too much too soon. But this one is a great way just to relieve stagnation. Let's reverse the direction. So we'll repeat this entire series in a moment with the uh, opposite leg in front or on top. So you will see these circles again. Just noticing how you're feeling at this point in time in your hips, in your low back, in your side ribs and your side waist. Just notice how the body feels. And our aspiration is that we will continue to feel more mobile, freer uh, as the practice progresses. Okay, come back up, sit tall center. Take your fingers back behind you. One last thing on this side. Roll and wrap your shoulders back and then lean your chest forward. So we just lean with length. You can keep your hands behind you or fold out front of you, whatever you prefer. Just continue to breathe steadily as we take a few moments to open our hips. Again, in the interest of moving energy and relieving stagnation, our focus is mainly through the core of the body, which is going to be uh, hips, 
abdomen, spine, rib cage. That's why we started with the breath because there's nothing more core than breathing. <laughs> breath is at the core of core, right? Ooh, all right, walk it in. And as you release your legs, give them a little shake out in front of you. Good, and we'll be coming in for side two, crossing right leg in front or on top. So you find the opposite seat, the opposite uh, configuration with your legs. With your right leg in front or on top, let's begin by twisting towards the left. So you bring your right hand onto your left knee, you sit tall and spin your spine. If I happened to say the wrong left or right, please just make sure you're on your second side. That's all we're really after here. Let's come through center, pause, sit tall, realign your spine and twist the opposite way. So we pause to abide in the pose before we add rhythmic movement. Again, spinning the rib cage. Feeling one side of the spine shorten while the opposite side broadens. And that is what steers the rib cage rotation. Good. We'll inhale to center. Breathe out just to clear your lungs. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. And start by twisting to your left as you exhale. Get empty. Inhale, rise, reach. Other way. Exhale to the right. Inhale, rise, reach, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more for each, inhale. Reach tall and then exhale into you until you are fully empty of your breath. Rise, inhale, and exhale. This time as you rise, inhale, arms up, interlace your fingers, flip your palms inside out. Sit tall, again, through the sides of your waist, through the length of your abdomen, through the length of your low back, and allow the levers of your arms to lift your waist and ribs up off your pelvis. So you separate, right? You actually separate some of your bony parts and you're trying to get distance, you're looking, seeking distance between your rib cage and your pelvis. And just rise a little taller. Good, breathe in. And exhale, release. Take your hands to your knees or your knee and your foot, whatever's there, and start to circle. Spinning your spine one direction, you can go any pace, you can work with any range of motion, whatever feels good to you. Let this one be fairly intuitive and organic, knowing that there is no right or wrong for circling your spine. <laughs> Again, it's just a nice way to knock off some rust here. All right, let's switch direction, go the opposite way. Do a handful here. One last one, and as you come back center, sit tall through the length of your spine. Take a breath, reach your fingers behind you. One last thing for the hips. Shoulders wrap back, that helps your chest stay wide and your lungs nice and open, breathe in. And then leaning forward into your fold. You can keep hands behind 
or you can walk hands out front. Again, as you, as you like, whatever's better for you in your body today. Just a couple moments to breathe. Letting the hips adjust. And it's really in that acclimation as the body um, as the body receives this shape and the sensations that accompany this shape that we uh, that we transform <laughs> internally, that we we change, we elicit change inside our sensory system. So at first the nerves that run through the muscle tissues are resisting uh, because it's such a strong stretch sensation but then we linger with it and the nerves get used to what's happening the shock of it wears off and the body acclimates and then after a few moments which is about now you start to feel better and the stretch sensation dissipates and that is the body shifting and acclimating and we do that often enough and eventually we get more open. Beautiful. Rise up and shake out your legs. Of course, that being said, we don't have to do it all in one practice. <laughs> it isn't going to happen all in one day regardless. Uh, so no need to overdo. A little bit goes a long way. Just keep shaking, shaking, shaking. Okay. So if you were sitting on something, please go ahead and take that aside. You may like that cushioning, the, if you have a blanket or a towel, you may like that later for um, some knee padding, some joint cushioning, but for now we don't need it. Uh, bring your hands behind your back, knees are bent, and then take your feet rather wide towards the edges of your mat for windshield wipers, and let's just start to guide the knees one way and then the other. And as the knees go side to side, so will your hips and your spine. So it's a global rotation, it's not an isolated rotation. You're letting the whole body go with the movement. And just a couple more. Feeling the hips gradually, again, step by step, <laughs> get a little more pliable. All right, let's let the knees tip over towards the right. And as we do, bring your left hand around and sit nice and tall through the length of your spine. So this is another twist, but it's quite asymmetrical because your back hip is up. Either stay here on your hands or you can lower one elbow or even both elbows to the ground and just pause in this um, variation of spinal twist. We won't take quite um, as much time here, so just a few moments to breathe. And then climbing back on your hands, stay in your rotation so you're facing the back of your mat. Pause a breath, lengthening through the underside waist, and then come back to center. Let's do windshield wiper just a few times side to side. So you shake it out. Of course, we're going to go to side two in just a moment. You can flex your feet, lifting your toes up so that as you go side to side, mostly you're pivoting over the heel bones. Good, let's go second side. So tipping your knees to your left or whatever your side two is. Again, we don't have to get um, into the weeds of left and right, but make sure it is your second side. You pause up tall for a moment. Again, it's your underside waist that gets a big side uh, stretch, a side lengthener here. And you can either stay with that, especially if that feels really good on your body today, or if you'd like more rotation, so this is less side bend, but more twist. One hand or, or excuse me, one elbow can come down or both elbows can come down. Your choice. And just a few moments breathing there. 
The breath is a bit restricted in any rotation, but especially uh, something here, which tends to be a pretty deep rotation. So your breath will not be deep and full from the diaphragm. That's normal and natural and to be expected. But you continue to breathe in the best way that you know how. <laughs> and you continue to stay mindful, like you're aware of your breath. Just another moment. And then nice and easy, rise back up if you went low. We'll all pause on hands, still in rotation and side bend, facing the back of the mat. Good, and then unravel yourself, windshield wiper again, side to side. And then take your legs forward and give them a little shake out. So something that helps with, with energizing ourselves is building some core heat. So we're going to be looking at that. And we'll be doing a few different drills, mobility um, and strength drills that uh, activate our core center. So spend just another moment shaking out your ankles, shaking out your legs, and then join me down on the ground roll down onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest as you roll down. Take a couple moments to rock side to side, or if you prefer, you can trace a circle around the circumference of your low back. So rolling on your back, just for a few more moments. Enjoying the pressure of the ground as you continue, as we continue with this project of loosening up through the core of the body. And then let's take both legs straight up into the air. So you're in a bit of an L position with your spine extended, your legs extended. Bring your hands behind your head to support the weight of your skull, breathe in. And then as you exhale, curl your chin towards your chest and curl your shoulders, shoulder blades, your upper back up off the mat. And we pause right here for five. So press your low back down into the ground. Four, three, just holding. Two, press your low back down, lift your shoulders a little higher, two, and staying up on one, lower your right leg forward and down. Go to a point of control for your body. You want to feel continually that you're anchoring your low back down and your low belly is active. Hold five, four, three, two. On one, lift that bottom leg up, back into the L shape, hold. Curl your upper body higher, keep that height, press the low back down, we stay, five, four, three, two, lift a little higher on one, stay up, lower left leg to your point of control, which is to say your low back is not gapping away from the floor, lift your shoulders a little higher, hold, five, Reach through both legs, four, straight, strong legs, three, lift a little higher, two, on one bottom leg lifts up, hold, stay with it if you can, lift your upper body a little higher, curl those shoulders up, hold, five, four, three, keep breathing, two, and one, lower and release. Bring the arms, whew, that was a good one. <laughs> Bring the arms into a cactus. So backs of hands on the ground, palms face up. Knees are bent, feet are wide to the edges of your mat. Lift your toes so you pivot on your heels and windshield wiper. So this is a reclined variation. 
Again, a really nice way to feel a swivel within your hip sockets, but also a global twist to help release through your abdomen and your back. One last time to each side. Good, adding on, come center. Take your legs straight up in that L. Hands behind your head, breathe in. And as you exhale, hollow belly, press your low back down, engage your front body abdominals and you curl up off the floor. From here, taking a twist, so upper body twists towards your left, Pause there, and then as you keep your left hand behind your head, reach your right arm straight so that your wrist is going past your outer knee. It's like you're going to saw your left leg off, and then lower your right leg to your point of control so you stay within the rotation. Yeah, pause here. Five, four, three, two, back up center, reset. Curl your shoulder blades higher. Reach to the outside of your opposite leg, hold. And then the other leg will lower. So we twist and sustain. Five, four, three, two. Return center, hands behind head. Try not to bail out. Remember, we're building a charge. We're building energy today. Legs stay straight up. Lift the upper back up. And now to your first side, so twist towards your left as you lower your right leg. Keep both hands behind your head, pause, and then come back center. Twisting to your right, and you lower your left leg. Up center, the twist is small, but you'll feel it. Twist upper body to the left and lower your right leg. Come center. And then twist to your right and lower your left leg. Good. And center and repeat. Let's go side to side. Twist and lower the leg. Center. Reset the leg. Again, side two. Come center. Breathe in. Exhale to the side. We're alternating. Inhale, center. Exhale, side. Inhale, center, keep going, exhale, side. Inhale, center, lift your upper body higher, exhale, side. Inhale, center, three more, each side, guys. Exhale, stay with it if you can. And inhale, start to feel that fire, that heat, exhale. Inhale, again, exhale. Inhale, lift higher, exhale. One more time, each side, inhale, center. Exhale, twist. After this, little rest. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist. Inhale, center, lift upper body higher, 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 hold, five, higher, higher, four, squeeze, 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 three, two, breathe, 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 and one, release. Oh, good one. <laughs> good one. Arms and cactus. Windshield wiper your legs. Here we go. Take time to release that effort. Take time to let it go. We do have another drill for our abdominal core, but before we do, let's come, or before we do that, <laughs> before we get to it, come center, set your legs for bridge. So your shins are vertical, which means your ankles are under your knees. Tone through your glutes and your hamstrings, and then curl your hips up. And we won't go into a big chest opener for this one. Let's keep it mostly about the hips. So we're just trying to open up the fronts of the hips here by scooping the tailbone under, engaging the glutes. Breathe here. You can just have your arms on the ground by your side. Again, we're countering for the hips because the hip flexors do a lot of work when we strengthen our abdominals uh, in the particular way that we are strengthening them right now. So we're recruiting a lot of front of hip muscle and it's really nice here just to re-lengthen, reset, 
All right, let's lower down slowly. Take a moment, hug your knees into your chest and rock a few times side to side. Good, take your legs straight up again as we started in your L position. This time we're gonna work a little bit of rock and roll. Hands behind your head, breathe in. As you exhale, curl head, neck, shoulders up. In this moment, press your low back down so you deeply engage through your abdominal core. And now start to lower your legs about halfway to the floor. Keep your low back grounded. Reach your arms forward and then continue to deepen into your abdominal contraction and use your legs to help tip, tip, tip yourself up, come seated. And as you come seated, reach your arms up overhead. And then with length, lean forward little reach. So we take a moment to do, and once you're at, at your fullest stretch, you can let your hands go anywhere they wanna go. Just feel a little, um, a little lengthening there through your hamstrings and your low back, the two sides of your spine, opening the back of the body. Good, and rise up. Take a moment, lift your arms up. We're gonna put this together again. So as we prepare to roll back, bring your arms parallel to the ground, and then pull your belly in so you initiate the action from the abdomen. So I'm pulling my belly back, letting my spine round. That's gonna help tuck my pelvis. And then you slowly roll down, lift your legs up. So you just tip yourself back onto your back, okay? Reach your arms up overhead. And then as you reach your arms forward, let your legs lower. Curl your chin to your chest. We're going, to, we're going right into rising up to sit. Arms go overhead. You can walk your hip, your bum flesh back a little bit and then fold forward. So when we walk the bum flesh back, we get a better tilt, a forward tilt of the pelvis, which helps us to keep our spinal length as we lean forward into the stretch. Rise up and reach up, sit tall. And then initiate, remember, initiate from your abdomen, pull your belly back, and then round and roll, lift your legs right away. Take your arms up overhead. Reach your arms straight if you have the space. And then as you reach your arms forward, lower your legs, tuck your chin, control it. So you control, you put on the brakes from your abdominal strength. Sit and reach and rise. Walk your bum back <laughs> as you fold forward. Take a moment, forward fold. So you have a pretty good sense of this one now. Let's sit ourselves up. And I'm just gonna give you uh, timing. So for about a minute, I'm gonna ask you to roll yourself forward and backward with this straight leg tipping. So here we go. Start as you're ready, rolling onto your back, and as you roll down and you articulate through your spine, your legs and arms rise. And then as you sit up, you roll up, your arms and legs reach to help you rise, and you get a little forward fold at the top. Good, and I welcome you now to go at your own pace, move in your own way. So really, we're just trying to roll along the length of our spine with control. And that control again is gonna come from the abdominal contraction. And you can linger as much as you would like in that seated forward fold, but please know that the intention here is to keep moving so that we can feel this, um, again, articulation through the spine and the activation through the core abdominals. And if we enjoy ourselves a little too much in that forward bend, <laughs> then we miss out on the uh, core body opportunity. So please know that we will hold that forward fold together in just a few moments. So if you're really wanting that stretch, uh, take heart, it is coming, it is coming. 
But for the next few moments, just rock and roll. <laughs> If you're getting a lot of good benefit from this one, what you might do is pause the video uh, and just continue for a few more minutes moving in your own way, at your own pace, do a few more. But if you're staying, if you're staying with me, we'll take it one more time, one more round. And where we'll meet up is seated. So you wiggle or walk your hips back, you fold out over your legs, Hashimottanasana is seated straight leg forward fold. And just pause, breathe in your pose, in your stretch. You can have your hands on your legs, on the floor, on your feet, whatever you like, whatever works best for your body right now. Take three more breaths here. As you breathe in, rise on up, give that a little shake out, and then bend into your knees. Have your feet grounded here. This is a variation of the bent knee boat. Okay. We're going to keep our feet really low to the ground, which is why it's a variation of boat, a little different than your standard. So reach your arms forward parallel to the ground, and as you lean back, take your chest wide, so you plug your shoulders back and down. Chest stays lifted and you float your feet. So the feet are barely off the floor. <laughs> you can do a few toe taps and the ground is right there, okay? But you do float your feet above the ground. So you're balancing. This is, we're gonna call this our V sit. So this is our V position. Let's take our fingers down to our outer heels or outer ankles and just give them a little tap. So you tap your outer ankles. And then you can tap the floor right near your outer ankles, okay? So you can tap your ankles, you can tap the floor, they're both right there, okay? And then bring your arms back up parallel, take one more moment, breathe, and relax. So bring your feet down, take your legs forward, give them a little shake out. We're going to work on a banana position. So keep in mind that V-sit, don't forget it, we'll come back to it, but let's do our banana first. So with knees bent to start, inhale, chest tall, shoulders back. And then like you're doing a cat, you round, you round, 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 come halfway. Halfway down, your fingers are still lightly touching your knees or thighs. Press your low back flat to the ground and float your feet. Yeah. And then take your arms parallel to uh, the floor again, just as you did a moment ago. And now extend your legs while keeping your low back flat. Okay. So the body is low and curved, just like a banana. That's how it has its name, where it gets its name. We'll stay five, chin to chest, four, three. If it's a little shaky, you know you're doing it well. Three, two. Now can you pull yourself up into V-sit and tap your fingers, oh, tap your fingers to your heels or to the floor. All right, let's go back into banana and up into V-set five times, and then we'll have a little rest, okay? So round your back, try to keep your feet off the floor the whole time, control, control, until you get really low, hover, hover. Five, four, three, two, up, V-set, pause, go again. Lower with control, 
Banana hold, five, four, three, two, up and V-sit. All right, let's call that two. We're gonna go three more, okay, lower, lower. Control, control, low back down, squeeze your glutes. Five, four, three, two, up, V-sit. Awesome, guys, two more, lower. Banana hold, five, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. Four, three, two, one, up and V. One more time, lower, banana, hold, five, four, three, two, up and V-sit, and release. Shake that out, awesome job. We have one more thing to learn, and that's where we roll our banana side to side. Okay, so rolling the banana involves a lot of core control. But let's, let's check it out. We'll do what we can with it. <laughs> so start, same position, knees bent. Lift your chest tall, arms parallel to the floor. Lean back, feet barely off the floor. So V-sit position with the arms a little higher. So we're not tapping the floor on this one. Arms parallel for now. Hold, three, two, one. Take it down into your banana and hold. Now in this banana, reach your arms up over your head. It's gonna make it a lot harder, but check it out. Roll to one side, keep your legs together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold and balance. It's so hard, three, but give it a try, it's fun. <laughs> Two, come back, center, banana, and V up, V sit, boom. Oh, catch it, catch it. Let's go again, slow and easy, back to banana, hold, three, Two, on one, lift your arms overhead and roll the opposite way and balance. Balance on that outer hip, outer shoulder, squeeze your legs. Three, two, one, back center banana, up to V-sit and rest. Okay, so without any of the holding, let's just put it all together. So V, Banana, roll, roll, V, repeat, okay? So let's do five rolling first to the left and then to the right. We'll take a little break and then we'll do five from the right to the left. Uh, don't worry if that made no sense. I will talk you through it all, okay? So V sit, feet barely off the floor, yeah? And then take it back into banana, arms overhead. Roll to your left, we're not gonna hold it, Come back to banana, roll to your right, right away. Again, we're not gonna hold it, come back to banana, and up into V-sit. That was one, without resting, come back into banana, arms up, roll to your left. Little balance, roll to banana, roll to your right. Back to banana, up in V. That's two, let's go again. Arms overhead, roll left, through the center, roll right, tight, tight, tight through your abs, guys, squeeze your legs together, come center, up into V, take it back down, roll left, roll center, roll right, roll center, up in V, we got one more this direction, guys. Take it down, banana, roll left. Center, roll right. Whoa, <laughs> center. Bring it up into V. Hold V, hold V. Take your hands behind your thighs. Keep your feet up, stay with me, shoulders back, chest up, and now lift your legs, full boat pose. Either hands behind thighs or you let go, five, Four, chest up, shoulders back. Three, two, and one, release. Give that a little shake out. We're gonna do that all again. Rolling from right to left five times. Come into your V position. Lean back, feet are low, arms parallel. Five, four, three, two. We won't be holding this one like this for a little bit, so here we go. Banana, arms overhead. Roll to your right. Back to banana at center. 
roll to your left, back to banana at center, up into V, and we're not holding it, go right back down. Banana, roll to your right, center, roll to your left, center, up to V. That's two, let's go again. Banana to the right, and center, left, center, up into V. Go again, banana to the right, and center, to the left. Tight, tight, tight through your abs, guys. That's the key. Center, bring it up, V. Let's do two more, banana to the right, banana to the left, up center, into V. One more time, we're trying not to touch the feet. This whole time, guys, to the right, through center, to the left, through center, up into V. Pause in V, hands behind your thighs, or <laughs> extend your legs, and let's stay. Five, boat pose, Navasana, four, three, two, and one, release. Take your legs out, give them a little shake. As you bend your knees now and plant your feet, much like we did with bridge pose, let's just do a counter position for the front body. Take your hands behind you, turn your fingers to face out to the sides like three and nine o'clock, roll and wrap your shoulders back, really squeeze your shoulder blades together, and then lift your chest, lift your hips, invert your table position, and just pause and hold here. You can let your head drop back if that's your jam. If you do not prefer that, which usually I do not prefer that, I like to keep my chin towards my chest. So what, whatever you prefer for your neck position, choose your favorite. And let's just stay with it. Couple more moments, breathing steadily. Good, five, four, opening the front of the chest, the front of the hips, three, two, and one. Gently guide yourself down. We have one more uh, core abdominal drill, and this is going to guide us up to standing. So we're going to roll onto our back as we rock up. We'll land our feet in a squat and then we'll stand. Then we squat and roll back down. So it's from your back through squatting to standing and then reversing the pattern. If this is new to you, please just watch it a few times and then give it a try. Okay. We'll begin by rolling down onto our back. As you roll down, take your arms overhead and your legs forward. And then as your arms come forward, pull your knees, really drive your knees to your chest, squat and reach forward. Let's just do that. So without standing quite yet, we'll build to it. Arms overhead, reach your arms forward, pull your heels to your glutes, and try to get on your feet. Yeah, do that a few times. Reach and pull. So there's a very strong pulling action with your legs and your arms just counter that. So your arms go forward to help get your hips up. <laughs> Good, go again. Now, this might be plenty for you to practice, and if that's the case, uh, please stay with this. This is a great stage of this drill. So just keep going for another minute. But if you've got it in you today, once your feet are under you in that squat, use it and stand up. And as you stand up, you can reach your arms overhead and then reach your arms forward and reverse the pattern to sit in squat and roll down. Here we go. So you know what you're working with. Just keep going. And if you get a little stuck, no worries. This is a tough movement and it takes some practice. It takes some repetition. So be patient with yourself, especially if it's new. 
You always want to be uh, really compassionate and patient with yourself when you're learning something new. It's, it's not easy to learn new things, especially as an adult, right? So be present with the process and just let it take the time that it needs. There's no rush. Good, we have a few more moments here. Um, I apologize for my camera angle. I know you can't see all of me when I'm standing, but the idea is you stand straight up with your arms over your head. And then you do reach forward to squat back down. Whoa, let's do one more. Bring yourself up to stand if you are not already there. And once you're standing, shake out your legs. Okay, so we're up standing, just shaking out our legs. We're gonna close out our energizing, uplifting practice today with a few rounds of a conventional sun salutation. So let's come towards the top of the mat. You can have your feet together or hip width, whatever you prefer. Yeah, totally up to you. And then arms by your side, exhale, palms open. On inhale, circle your arms up overhead, full stretch. As you breathe out, exhale, dive, and forward fold. You can do any arms you like on that one. Inhale as you lengthen. Lift your uh, front body and lengthen from pubic bone to throat. And then as you exhale, set your hands, step back, high plank. Breathe in again, set your eyes forward. And as you exhale, bend your elbows to your sides, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Totally your option, whichever you would prefer to practice today is fine by me. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Reset hands and feet, pause, breathe. So we've not been in down dog yet today. Give yourself a moment to acclimate. Pressing your handprints forward, smearing the mat out front of you as you lift your hips up and back and drop your heels down. Breathe in. As you exhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gazes forward, and inhale, step walk or light hop of feet up. Lengthen when you arrive. Exhale, forward fold. Rising again, any arms you prefer, whatever works for your body and your space. <laughs> Exhale, arms by your side. We start again. Inhale, arms to lift. Exhale, hinging from your hips, dive and fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, front body extends. Hands down, exhale, step or float to plank and pause. Looking forward, bend elbows, chaturanga, <laughs> inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. And breathe. Letting your head drop. You can sense that your ears are right inside your biceps, so your arms frame your head. One more inhale, we'll keep moving. Exhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Inhale, step walk, hop or float. Lengthen, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out and fold. Rising, inhale, arms stretch above you. Exhale, arms down by your side. And repeating, inhale, circle. Exhale, hinge, dive, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra pose. Exhale, down dog, pause, breathe.
And breathing for three. Breathing for two. Breathing on one, exhale, heels lift, bend knees. Inhale, step, walk or hop. Lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Rising, inhale, circle arms. Mountain pose as you exhale. Two more times, just like this. Inhale. Fold and exhale. Length on your inhale. Back to Chaturanga. Exhale. Cobra up dog. Inhale. Back to downward facing as you exhale. Steady breath. Steady focus. For three. Two. On one, exhale, look forward, prepare. Inhale, launch yourself and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Rising, inhale. Mountain, exhale, one more time like this. Inhale. Fold, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, step or float it, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Let's stay a few extra moments in this downward dog. And then softly lift your heels to lower your knees this time and sit back into child pose. Pause a moment in child to breathe. From child rising up, we'll do a little lazy cobra. Walk your hands a little further forward and a little wider apart. And then just let your thighs and your hips dip towards the ground as you lift your chest up. We'll do a little uh, rock side to side. You can make it small or big depending on how it's feeling for your body. I just wanna make sure we get a nice little counterpoint to all that abdominal work that we did. Just another moment here. If you're rocking, pause at center. And then using again your strong abdominals, your strong arms, pull the abs in and up. And from your navel, pull yourself back into child pose. Let your head rest as you pause. One more time, come forward. I think of it as a casual cobra or a lazy cobra. And same thing, if it feels nice, you can move a little bit, rocking side to side. Again, we're just trying to invite space back into the front of the body, the fronts of the thighs, hips, abdomen. If you're rocking, find center, pause. One more inhale. And then use your strength, guide yourself back. Child pose. In this child pose, bend your elbows and bring your hands under your forehead. Alternatively, if you prefer, you can have your uh, bent arms more in front of you, hold on to opposite elbows and let your forehead rest either on your forearm or on the floor. Uh, so your choice here, take a few breaths.
And if you had your arms bent for that entire time, re-extend your arms now. And then walk your hands towards your knees, come up to sit. We'll pause just for a moment in sitting. So your choice, you can sit on your heels, or if it's very available inside your knee joints, you can sit in hero's pose. Please know, however, that hero pose isn't everybody's medicine. Um, so just sit how you are comfortable. Let your hands rest either on your legs or in your lap. Close your eyes. Find a tall lift of your spine and check in with yourself. These final few quiet moments of sitting are the conclusion of our practice today. So we are closing out here in seated meditation. Reflecting on the transformation that you can sense inside yourself. Noticing what parts of you have been affected by the work that you've done in this practice today. It may be mental components of your being. It might be emotional or vibrational, energetic, physical, structural. Simply notice what you notice and appreciate what you've done for yourself by being here. With your eyes lightly closed, bring your hands to a prayer, thumbs over the center of your heart, and let your head come slightly forward. And as you orient your head to your heart, you honor your inner world, and you honor the purity of your offering. You offered up your time, you offered up your curiosity, you offered up your attention and your awareness. And all aspects of your being are now able to receive the benefits of that offering. Acknowledge yourself for giving to yourself today the gift of a yoga practice. As you lift your head, release your hands and open your eyes you're ready to go on with your day. I thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me. I hope this practice serves you very well and you feel uplifted. I will see you again next time, my friend. Namaste.